Oh, look at that. So nice blue flame. Let's see if the other ones will light. Oh, wow. All right, so today we are going to be replacing the burners in my Charboral Performance Grill, which we have seasoned the heck out of a lot of stuff, and salt eventually just destroyed all the burners, and they're just not working. They've rusted up. What you have to do is take these out. I've already kind of pre-cleaned these, but you may want to wear gloves for this. These come out, and then there's... This particular one has five burners. As you can see down in here, it's just completely, completely destroyed. These are these the, the thing that carries the flame between them. So then these uh, these come out like this. And then I had already taken these off already, but use a pair of like needle nose pliers, and there's going to be clips on each. Um, each burner so you have to pull those those out so no big deal and i'm just hanging on to everything until um until we are completed so um so then at this point uh you basically just remove these each of these five once these this once the clip is removed they come right out very easily except for this one's not Okay, so the reason that one's not coming out is because it has the starter on it. So we'll leave it in for now. The rest of them should just come. And that one broke in, right in half. All right, so the one that we're going to be using is the High Cinch. Uh, it's the 304 stainless steel. And it came with a whole bunch of stuff. Got the, the five burners, the covers for the burners. And then the, these guys here is what helps get the flame to get, jump from one to the next two igniters screws clips and some washers and stuff like that but yeah it looks like the quality seems decent all right so the next thing um this one didn't want to come out on on count of the the igniter there rather than unscrew that and everything i would say just come under here and if you look you can see the wire and you can trace the wire that's going up through uh it goes around this gonna pull that wire out very carefully uh, just like that see there the, that's what it looks like on the end should allow this one the whole thing should come out and that's probably how we're gonna redo it yeah there's like no way we were gonna unscrew that thing wow this pan down here actually slides out the back it's like a drawer and i'm gonna just brush everything off onto that what i did uh it was not recording but i just scraped uh using a chisel just kind of scraped everything into that pan like so in this back tray, like I said, there's actually a tray down here. But if you didn't know, this is where all the juices collect. Yum. I'm going to put one of these on. Notice that there's two different lengths. And obviously, the shorter one is going to go on a number two burner for, my, for me. Okay, so I think this just clips on here because it should go under it. It does. It just clips on. You just have to kind of slide it around. Okay, bada bing. Mine was all rusted to pieces, so it just came apart. But you may have to remove these carryovers. It carries the flame from one burner to the next. I'm going to thread this back through the cabling. It should go all the way back through. It should go back in like that. This was wrapped around up in here. The trick is to have it turned like that and then it'll go up in. Okay, I finally got it in it, up in there. And you know, this might be a time to uh, replace your batteries. There's just batteries up in there. Uh, I'm not gonna, that's for another video, but uh, we'll test it here real quick. You can see it's sparking. All right, so we'll just do the rest of them now. Basically just back into this hole. Each one should go pretty easily. You definitely don't have to force them. For these carryovers, it looks to me like what's going on here is so I have five burners, which means you need four, right? So I've organized them into these pair uh, sets, right? You have, um, you put them together sort of like, like this, right? Like this. You put them together like that. And then you flip them upside down like this 
and then you connect and then that's going to carry your your flame between they just put them in here in these these here pins so go ahead and drop this one in i don't think i'm going to need those long ones i just feel like it's better at going this way and then i can use put these yeah let's work our way across okay so i have the rest of these made up like that retaining pins in And then we don't want to forget these in the back. Okay, so this is the one thing I noticed. These pins that uh, were in the back holding the burners, I don't think I got anything for those. So we're, I'm going to reuse uh, these ones because they were... All right, I'm having an ADHD moment, but I'm, I forget what these are called. These pins are like a hairpin or whatever they're called. And, and anyhow, um, they did not include the ones of the same size. So I just am cleaning these ones up. There's five of them and I'll just show you one of them, but they go right here, um, right here in the back. Just, just like, like that. Okay. So I turned on the gas and whoops. Okay. So basically now I'm going to test this. This is the one that lights it and let's see if we can get it lit. Oh, look at that. So nice blue flame. Let's see if the other ones will light. Oh, wow. Light them all. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Wow, I should have done this a long time ago. That's just incredible. <laughs> it's so blue. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these off. Well, actually, I'm gonna turn them all the way down and see how, let's see how, how it burns with all the way down and low. Nice blue flames. Okay, we're gonna turn them off. You gotta be very careful, because this is, propane is, you know, dangerous, dangerous stuff. And we're gonna wait for this to cool down, and then we're gonna, we're gonna put in the, uh, the shields or whatever they're called. Okay, so the covers basically go in. You'll see there's two prongs on this end. They go in just like this and they rest right back here on, on that corner. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we'll go ahead and put our grates back in. Wow, that is so much different looking. And let's see if we can get our lip back up again. I'm hearing them so now it'll be a little bit harder to see the that they're lit up but you can definitely if you just kind of go along here you can peek in see that blue flames going all the way back to give you a nice even burn one thing about this grill I've always found the the carryovers provide extra heat so there's always been more heat up front here than in the back I just kind of move stuff around, but there you have it, guys. Um, I'm going to have links down in the description. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, correct me if I'm wrong anywhere. Just be cool about it. And, we're, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the next one. All right. Thanks for watching.